welcome back y'all and unfortunately you just get to spend time with me today um megan's up at the house working on other things and i thought i'd bring you along and let you watch me replant some corn so earlier on in the year we planted this um serendipity sweet corn down here and this was our test plot where we did not have fertilizer on the corn to start with and right away i seen it wasn't going to do what it needed to do so i gave it just a little bit longer and i decided to go ahead and fertilize it well the plant itself is actually not looking bad but this, here's the thing it's getting ready to shoot tassel and it's not even it's not even waist high to me so that means this corn most likely is not going to make anything um corn won't put off ears if it's that short and if we did get any corn off of it i mean we might would get a couple ears off of this right here but this is going to do nothing this has been planted long enough that it should have been should have at least been shoulder high to me and it's not so it's july 2nd and we're going to till this corn under and replant it and i'm hoping that the fertilizer that i put by this corn will still kind of be there and i'm going to try to replant it on the same rows as where i have right now so i'm just going to take my tiller and run over this chop it all up till it into the ground and start over from scratch i may go ahead and put a little bit more fertilizer in with it um kind of just throw it on top of the ground after i plant it but I'm really not wanting to do that till I see if we're going to get, we're supposed to be getting a shower of rain this evening. Um, I don't have too much hope in that. So we're just, see how later this evening goes. If it really does look like we'll get a shower of rain this evening, I'll come back down here and throw a couple handfuls down the row. And because that's one thing about fertilizer, you don't want it laying on top of the ground for very long because the sun will do some crazy things to the fertilizer anyways essentially will make it go away if it doesn't get rain on it right away you really need to have that fertilizer covered up but doing what i'm going to do today that's not exactly i can't exactly cover it up planting it the way i'm going to plant it but like i said it's july 2nd this is about the latest you want to plant corn here in zone 7 7a where we're at um the latest that I've ever planted corn was on July 4th and I made corn and we were picking it not long before like our last frost date. So, uh, like I said, as long as the weather's right on it, you can make some pretty good corn this late in the year. So we're going to get busy with it. Well, that went pretty well. Um, I can kind of judge where each row is going to go. I'll just kind of hit it in the center and see where the rows were raised up. And where I only run over it with the tiller once, um, it didn't smooth it all out. So I can get the center of that row, center of that row, center of that row. And that should be about the right spacing for me to be able to come back in here and cultivate it with the tractor. All right, guys. So I'm back down here with my planter and uh i just checked the weather forecast and it looks like it's going to rain this season it looks like we got a pretty good chance of thunderstorms so i think i am going to go ahead and throw fertilizer down on these rows here just so it's there when it rains it'll melt into the soil and things will be ready to take off growing because this late in the season you really want that stuff to be growing fast so it makes it before um frost but anyways got the earthway planter here and I'll be using this seed plate today. You can change out seed plates on this thing. But all they do is slide in there and line up on those little notches. Then you lock it in place. And you're ready to roll. 
And you can see over here, this planter comes with several seed plates, and then you can buy an extra kit of seed plates as well. I've got both, and I mean, there's seed plates for all types of seed in here. They're everything. Anything and everything you can think of, you'd be planting in the garden, there's a seed plate for. My main plates are the pea plate, the bean plate, and then that sweet corn plate. Then I also use, let's see, this one it. Nice cucumbers. Right here. This is your popcorn plate, and it's got smaller holes in it than your regular uh, sweet corn plate does, because that popcorn seed's smaller. So, yep, those are my favorite. That's actually, this one comes with the accessory kit you buy for these planters. That's the only reason I bought this that kit was for this popcorn plate. All you do, after you've got your plate put in, we've got our serendipity sweet corn here. And we'll see if I can do this one-handed. And pour this corn right in there. It doesn't take much. That's actually that's actually probably too much. But we'll go out here, see if I can show you how this little doohickey works. These uh, push planters, you know, especially if you don't have a tractor or you don't, you know, you don't use a tractor much or anything like that in your garden. These push planters are the cat's meow when it comes to planting a garden. If I had to plant this right here by hand, I would be down here for an hour or more. I'm fixing to be down here for like five minutes planting this and I'll be done with it. And it's spaced perfectly. Everything about it just works good. I highly recommend, if you don't have a push planter, get you a push planter. It doesn't have to be the Earthway push planter, but get you a push planter if you plant a lot of garden. Um, I've had this one about 10 years, and golly, this thing saved me a whole lot of work over the past 10 years. But all we have to do, you have a drive wheel here, and then that pulls this belt that pulls your seed plate and makes it turn around and then it falls off it'll pick up a seed and fall off into that hole i'm gonna try to get that right here i hope you can pick up that but anyways you just push it right along See the seed falling out the back. I don't know if you can pick that up or not. Now, one thing this planter doesn't like is trash build up in your garden. So, um, you know, you really got to have your soil good and clean before you use it. And if it's rocky or clotty or anything like that, it doesn't seem to work that great either. But this good bottom land down here and then that good soft land we got up there in our garden at the house works really well with this planter. Oh, we got us a pretty straight road down through there. Sometimes what I like to do is go back and run out the same row again just so I know I've got plenty of seed in that row. That thing puts plenty of seed bite but um i don't know kind of like a little habit i've gotten into is going back and just replanting like another i guess you'd almost say like a double row and i only do that when i use this planter right here now this time of year i do plant my corn seed just a little bit deeper than if i put it in the spring because it tends to be drier this time of year so you want that corn seed deeper so it can stay down there where it'll stay wet and doing that, to do that, you have a depth gauge right here. You can adjust this wing nut on the back side, right there, and this will slide up and down to where you can, the farther down you have it, the deeper your seed goes, the farther up you have it, the shallower your seed is. Then this little chain kind of covers, covers everything back up, and then this wheel right here packs back over top of the seed. So I'm going to run over this one more time. And if it ends up being too thick, all I've got to do is come down here and thin it out. But being this time of year, I just like to have um, 
make sure that I've got plenty of seed there because chances are this time of year being as hot and dry as it typically gets we'll have some seed that don't germinate like it should germinate to where it would in the springtime when we're actually getting some quite a bit of rain So guys, there you have it. Planted three rows of corn and still have some seed left in the hopper. And it's getting hot out here. So I'm gonna hurry up and throw me some fertilizer by these rows. Close the fence back off around the garden. I'm getting my hind end back to the house. It's getting hot. Anyways, we appreciate y'all watching. Just thought I'd bring you along with me while I replanted my corn. And, you know, just let you know, I've planted corn for years, and you mess up sometimes. Sometimes you make mistakes. Don't let that stop you. If you make a mistake, just keep doing it, and you'll learn something every time from that mistake. But, um, anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.